is Bill here. I'm coming out of retirement. You haven't heard from me for a while, and I've got a new project here. I am making a, uh, I reckon you call it a flex plow. It's going to be a hinge in here. It's made out of two International 560 semi mount plows. They're 14 inch plows. 14 inch plows. I've, I've got this done up here. This is a gauge wheel, uh, one of the gauge wheels off a of number 70 international plow. I've made this apparatus here, and this is to give stability to this uh, plow when it's in the furrow. This is, uh, this is an on land hitch attachment that I made for this uh, 560 and the 550 plows. And this is a, a hitch off a of number 700 plow that's going to go on there. Of course, this is my cross shaft, and I had to make it bigger and it's heavy and it's going to be right here and the tractor is going to hook right here and then when i set down uh the lift on the tractor will will pick up the front of the plow and then when i set it down the tractor will will help with stability but this wheel here will help with the uh, front furrow width to keep a good consistent depth right there and as we come down i've already built this instead of having a, a piece of box a box uh tubing of uh channel I decided to go with a piece of four by six tubing here. And anyway, I had to make all that. And uh, right now I'm waiting, it's coming out of Minnesota, a list system right in here. I made a plow, something like this called an 800 series plow. And, and I, I was able to find a salvage plow and I bought this list system off that plow and it should be here any time. And all this, this thing here has got to be welded to this beam right here to uh, uh, support the pull the plow in the back. And this plow in the back, the way I'm going to do this one, you can unhook it from, from here and you can absolutely put it behind a, a tra another tractor and pull it just like a regular semi-mount plow. And you'll see this beam I've got right here. This is another uh, box beam identical to this one here. What this is for this is exactly one plow right here. I need it, and this gives me the um, equal space all the way down, what it does. One day I might decide to move everything forward one and it'll work right and give me the right uh, four and a half spacing in between the plows. Uh, but this is controlling right now where all this stuff here has to be mounted. And when I'm actually plowing to get going, this will be gone. This is, uh, when this plow will steer right here, just like any semi-mount plow. And right now I've got uh, I've got some uh, two point to three point whatever adapters right there. I'm gonna probably use those in there to uh, uh, hook the, make this plow hook up to here. And like I said, this is another five sixty six bottom plow, fourteen inch plow. And I will put the uh, so to begin with. I'm gonna put the regular lift system like on a semi mount plow back here. And like I said, you can just take this plow right off, put it behind a tractor and go plow. This plow is going to be called a 600. And where I got 600 from, I call theirs a, a 800 plow. This plow is 14 inch, theirs is 18 inch. So it's approximately, not quite, but close to 25% small. So I said, I'll call it a 600. And uh, that's about it. It's uh, still a long ways to go but you can get a good idea of how it's going to work. And like I say, when this, this will come off and when you turn, this, this, this will swing just like any semi-mount plow right there. And of course, I'm in here, I'll, I will have support out here going up to the front here to help, um, uh, it'll be a rigid type thing. It'll be probably on a turnbuckle or something like a tube or full piece of tube in front to back and one left hand, uh, a three and one to right. So you can turn it and get a, get a tension in here. And when you turn, it'll push on that. And when you pull, it'll, it'll, it'll pull on that. And so that gives, yeah. gives a lot of stability right there. And plus there's gonna be some other issues I got to work out about stability in here and, and strengthening. Um, but it's just coming along but this, this week, I think by Tuesday that my list system is gonna be here. And if anybody's ever seen an international 800 plow, that's what it come off of. They just took and whacked it right off there for me and sending the whole thing here and I got to go there. Be a dual, be a dual wheel here, and you'll have the linkage here and all that stuff. A lot to work out, but it's going, it's going to happen. Uh, a little slower than I want, but it'll happen. That's about all I know to tell you about this plow. 
and stuff. I'm looking forward to getting it in the field. And can you explain to them about how the, that flex plow floats like through the... Yeah. This plow, what, what it is, you can't have a plow that's so long, especially if you got fairly uneven ground. I've seen plows real long, but you all may know I built an eight bottle plow. I've seen some land. It's got to be pretty, pretty, pretty out of shape. I mean, really, really sharp curves and dips and dives. I've seen plows go in the ground and some of the plows in the middle come out of the ground. And the way this plow works here, all flex plows, that plow is independent. You can't change that. But this plow here is going to hinge and it just like on a tractor. It's going to hinge here. This this plow will, will hinge up and down. Just work just like in that. This yeah. has got vertical and horizontal hinge. It'll you got you get you know horizontal this way and then it's going to vertical this way the way it's going to work. This, this particular setup. I got another setup with the same thing. I might just go with a uh, 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 vertical hinge like this and I'll do away with the horizontal hinge. That's when I do that, all this stuff here will be, another bottom will be right here, the back one will come off and come up here and this beam here, everything will slide up to here. But I'll take this right here and block it off so it won't turn. And what'll happen when you pick up right here and then the back, the back will have to, that'll be taken off and that'll be a caster wheel back there. And when you turn, if you'll visualize your lawnmower, a little push mower with the bolt right in the middle and when you turn the blades like a helicopter, that's the way this plow turned, and it'll pivot right here on these two wheels right here. The truck yeah. and the truck will come right on around. Everything will come around just, just yeah. like this and turn. And that's really about all I'm going to tell you about this plow right now. The so, main thing is I got to get this this lift system right in here. I've got to get it going, and there is some engineering I got to work out there. Uh, the the plow that I'm getting this lift system off. These these plows, these 500 plows, they were 27 inches from the bottom of the beam to the floor. Yeah. The 800 plow was uh, was 33 inches, so I got some compensation to work out right in here. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just an old backyard engineer, and it'll, it'll get worked out. I'll, I'll figure a way to do it. And I think I think the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to leave everything welded to the beam if I can. And you got a stem that comes up in here with the dual tires. Yeah. And it pivots in here. I'll probably take that stem. I'm gonna use a size smaller tire than the uh, 800 plow. They use 1100, these are 900 L's. And they're a little bit lower. So that helps me right there. And if I have to change it anymore, the stem that comes up in here like this, a tube assembly, a, a assembly to, it, that works these tires that it pivots on in here. And the reason they got the pivot, the International had a tube come up here and it had a place, a pin you pull out and you turn these things. And what it did, when you're going down the road, the thing is too wide. It's just real wide going down the road. When you yeah. take and turn that thing, what it does, it brings it over to the back of the tractor. And that way you can get this thing down with uh, the international within 14 feet. I'll yeah. be able to get this down probably within 12 doing the same thing. But that stem right there, that's something I can cut off real easy. And then I can put it put it right back in there. That'll be an easy fix right there. Oh, yeah. The main thing is figuring out exactly where to cut it at. That's <laughs> yeah. the main thing right there. And that's all I know to tell you about it right there. And uh, we're going to... We'll do some update videos from time to time and as, as I make progress and I would hopefully I'll get it this spring. I hope to go to a plow day with it this spring in Gates okay. County, North Carolina. Okay. And we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see. Have, we'll definitely have to make that one. We'll see. Yeah, so yeah, we'll 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 definitely have to keep up and keep updated on this one here because it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, and this here is what I'm gonna pull it with. Yeah. And it will do it. I know a lot of folks Two. probably think it won't, but it will. Two was it? Two hundred and thirty. It's putting that, putting that around two hundred thirty-seven horses, and it weighs twenty-four thousand pounds. But uh, the tractor hooks uh, even with in, in particular tires. I don't know what it is about them. They just really hook up good. I, I'd rather have them to do. Yeah.